This is 5-Minute Friday on Model Error Analysis. Like the preceding three weeks for 5-Minute Friday today, I'm having a short 5-minute-ish conversation with a preeminent data science speaker that I met in person at ODSC West in San Francisco. For this final episode filmed live at the conference, our guest is Serge Massis, who discusses the importance and value of model error analysis. Serge Massis, welcome to this special Five Minute Friday episode that we're filming live at Open Data Science West in San Francisco 2022. ODSC West, it's been an amazing conference and it's been great to catch up with you here after a few years. We hadn't seen each other in person. So for those of you listeners who aren't aware, Serge Massis is the brilliant researcher uh, behind the Super Data Science Podcast. So when we have guests come on, Serge digs deep into their academic work, into talks that they've given, into into podcast episodes that they've done, into books that they've written. And so all of the best questions that I ask on the Super Data Science Podcast are either written verbatim by Serge or uh, paraphrased by me. And so I'm hugely grateful to have Serge on the show. And now uh, you get to have this Five Minute Friday with him. We did do a full guest episode with Serge not too long ago, episode number 539. It's on explainable AI, and it is absolutely fascinating. One of the most popular episodes of 2022, in fact. So Serge, uh, other than his uh, little bit of work that he does for us on the podcast, as a researcher, his day job is as an agronomic data scientist at Syngenta, which is a giant agricultural firm, and he works on climate models there. Um, In addition to that, he's already published a book on explainable AI, and he's working on a new book that will be published soon by Pearson. It's called DIY AI, Do-It-Yourself Artificial Intelligence. It looks like it's going to be a really fun book for hands-on applications of AI across a broad range of application areas. I can't wait for that book to to come out. So Serge, at ODSC West, you gave a talk on model error analysis a topic that does not get enough attention. So tell us what model error analysis is and why it's important. Yeah, well, model error analysis is about digging deeper than the metrics. Typically, when you're building a model and you're evaluating it, you're looking at, you know, accuracy recall, um, you know, like uh, MSC, MAE, one of those, right? But, you know, like you're just optimizing on those metrics and then you're like, okay, well, what do I do to get it better? Okay, hyperparameter tuning, feature engineering, whatever you do. But I think it is really important to understand why those errors exist. So model error is analysis to find those errors, see where the residuals are. So um, I I explained during the talk um, an actual like uh, tool that exists that is the responsible AA dashboard by Microsoft, it includes a uh, responsible AI dashboard by Microsoft. Yeah, and it includes a uh, error analysis tool. And with this error, error analysis tool, it does something you could do on your own. You could always fit a decision tree on the residuals on the error and find the pockets where there's most error, but it does this all for you. So you can visually see the decision tree and basically navigate the nodes where these errors exist the most. So it has the error rate, the error coverage, you can see the precision, the recall, you know, what are the samples where these errors are? And then you can ask the question, why is there more errors? You know, because error is not distributed equally, right? So understanding where they are means you maybe can take some steps, whether it's adding more data, whether it's, uh, you, know, you know, maybe more features, or perhaps it's, you know, there's some kind of anomaly, you know, or, or maybe you have to do some mitigation. Maybe you change, you know, the way, you know, the, the, the predictions are made to account for an imbalance of some sort. So there's a lot of things that can be done to correct that. Um, as a subtopic, I also went into uncertainty quantification. This is also not done enough, which is when you make a prediction, you just make what it's called a point prediction. You're just, okay, this is, this is what I'm predicting. You know, you're not giving any kind of um, uncertainty, right. you know, no kind of confidence interval right. or anything of that uh, nature. So Yeah, so one place we see that often is in polling, 
yeah. when, when we have uh, predictions of how an election result is likely to go, you often see those confidence intervals. But yeah, you don't see it very frequently at all. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. So um, having uh, some uncertainty in outputs and also doing model error analysis. Thanks again for suggesting that library. What was the name of the library again from Microsoft? Um, it's called Responsible AI Toolkit. Yeah, nice. Responsible AI Toolkit from Microsoft. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, so that gives our listeners a tool that they can pick up today yeah. and be doing some error analysis, identifying uh, the cause, the causal effect behind some of the residuals, yeah. the deltas between uh, what the model predicts and uh, the actual uh, reference data point. And yeah, that can lead to you know fixing those up. You could be having much better models or much better data collection. Absolutely. So awesome, Serge. Thank you so much for uh, starring in this episode, uh, this special Five Minute Friday episode of the Super Data Science Podcast. And yeah, can't wait to be uh, reeling off more of your brilliant questions to guests. Thank uh, you so much. Time. Okay, that's it for this special guest episode of Five Minute Friday filmed on site at ODSE West. And this was the final of our four episodes taking that format. I hope you enjoyed the series. It's been fun for me. I hope it was fun for you too. Until next time, keep on rocking it out there, folks. And I'm looking forward to enjoying another round of the Super Data Science Podcast with you very soon.